everyone, it's me, Dr. Star Effect. Welcome back to Smart Braces and Invisalign, a channel all about teeth and braces. In today's video, I'm going to be covering everything you need to know about vaping. And crucially, I'll be discussing three chemicals in e-cigarettes and their effects on oral health. I'll also be talking about vaping and its effects on braces and Invisalign. So do make sure you stay tuned right until the end. This will be a really interesting video, so keep watching. So let's take a closer look at the components of e-cigarettes and possible dangers associated with them, particularly in relation to our mouths. Propylene glycol. Propylene glycol is one of the major components of e-cigarettes. Commonly, it's used in food processing and it can be found in various edible items such as liquid sweeteners, ice cream and whipped dairy products. Propylene glycol, or PG, is a colourless liquid that has a fairly sweet, faint taste. When used orally, it breaks down in your mouth into acetic acid and lactic acid and propion aldehyde. These are all toxic to enamel and the soft tissues in your mouth. In addition to this, PG attracts water. It's what we call a hygroscopic product. This means water from your mouth bonds to the PG, leaving your mouth dry, which causes something called xerostomia or dry mouth. And dry mouth has been linked to other conditions such as oral cavities, gum disease and halitosis or bad breath. Saliva in your mouth almost acts as a bath, constantly rinsing your mouth, clearing away bacteria, clearing away food debris, refreshing your mouth. And if you have a reduction in saliva production, then it can cause all of these problems that I've just mentioned. A few other major components of e-cigarettes include vegetable glycerin and flavorings. Vegetable glycerin is colorless, odorless, and again, sweet tasting liquid. And it's used in a whole range of products, including medical, pharmaceutical, and personal care products. It's 60% as sweet as sucrose, but it isn't metabolized by the bacteria in our mouths. So it actually doesn't cause tooth decay. However, what studies have shown is that vegetable glycerin combined with the flavorings in e-cigarettes produce a fourfold increase in microbial adhesion to enamel. So what this means is that bacteria in your mouth adhere to your teeth more easily due to the vegetable glycerin and the flavorings. This allows more cavity causing bacteria to adhere to your teeth, causing the teeth to get softer and it can contribute to quite rampant tooth decay. Nicotine. One of the main reasons that people smoke e-cigarettes is for the nicotine content in them. Although the percentage of nicotine in e-cigarettes is much less than in a normal tobacco cigarette, usually around 0.3 to 1.8%, unlike a cigarette, there really is no end to a vape, with one electronic cartridge giving about 200 to 400 puffs. And the dangerous effects of nicotine have been well known for a long time. Literature suggests that nicotine affects the blood flow in our gums, it causes the blood flow to become restricted and it also affects our immune cell function and it affects how well our gums regenerate themselves. All of this combined together results in a higher chance of developing gum disease and ultimately tooth loss. Lithium batteries. A few years ago, a 24 year old man from Texas was sadly killed when his e-cigarette exploded. Now, although these types of deaths are really sensationalized and very rare, the problem lies within the vape pen and the lithium batteries overheating and exploding. One study found that there were 195 adverse events between 2009 and 2016 due to e-cigarettes. These injuries are usually serious and can lead to major disfigurements, as shown here. So ultimately, what we can see is that whilst e-cigarettes does have its use, for people that already smoke and are trying to quit, it unfortunately can also attract people that may have never even considered smoking. And it isn't particularly healthy for our mouths. How does this all affect you if you're having braces or Invisalign? So let's take a look at Invisalign. There are really two main issues with vaping and Invisalign. Firstly, your aligners can stain. And secondly, you need to be wearing the aligners 22 hours a day for them to be effective. And if you're always vaping and taking them out, then it's gonna affect your treatment progress. If you are vaping, then you do need to remove your aligners when you vape. Alternatively, you could consider this as an opportunity. Smoking, as we know, is a habit. And you'll only stop if you replace it with another one, like wearing your Invisalign trays. And how does vaping affect braces? As I discussed earlier, it can contribute to tooth decay, 
gum disease and staining. So it really isn't a good idea to vape while you have braces. Whilst vaping can certainly have its advantages and it does help some people, it is something that needs to be treated with caution and care. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification button underneath to make sure you receive updates to all of our new and fantastic videos. Thanks very much. Until next time, see you soon. Take care and keep smiling.